Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Git on your Windows 11. So let's start the video. You can open any of your favorite browser and simply search for Git. And guys, here you can see it's showing me the official website Git-SCM. Just click on this link. So guys, it will redirect you to this page and here you can see the latest source release and here we have button download for Windows. So we are going to click on this button. So again guys, it will redirect you to download page. Here we have download for Windows. Just click on this link, click here to download. And guys, you can see at the top the download of Git has been started. It will take a while. So guys, the download is done. Now I'm going to click on this exe to start my installation. Let me close or minimize my browser guys. And here guys, it's showing the public license. We have to just click on next button. This is the installation location where your gate will be installed. If you want to change, click on browse button. I'm keeping the default and here I'm clicking on next button. Now guys, it's showing whether you want the shortcut on desktop. Yes, I want. So just check mark on this additional icon. So shortcut will be created on desktop and click on next button. Now guys, here it's showing that uh, Git will be added to start menu folder. No problem. Click on next button. Now here we have to choose default editor which will be used by Git. So I'm just using VS code. So here in drop down, you can just check it out which default editor you want. So I'm just selecting VS code over here. So use Visual Studio code as Git's default editor and then guys just click on this next button and now here it's showing the initial branch in the new repository so we have to select the second option that is override the default branch name for new repository and guys you can click on this next button and here guys it's showing the path environment so i'm selecting the recommended one that is second one git from the command line and guys we need to click on next button once again now here it's asking for a secure shell um, client program executable program so i'm using the first option use bundled open ssh and click on next button now here it's asking transport backend so use the open ssl library again i'm using the default one and i'm clicking on next button guys so guys here it's showing me this screen so i'm installing for windows so i will be selecting windows style now here we will be using what git bash so i'm selecting this option default terminal for git bash and now here again i will be selecting git pool default option fast forward or merge so keeping the default one and clicking on next button now here we have to choose the credential uh, helper so i'm keeping the first one and here i'm again uh, keeping the default one enable file system caching so click on install button guys so guys uh, it will start installing git on your system and it's done guys now here it's showing me this screen view release node and launch git bash so i'm just unchecking uh, view release node and i'm selecting launch git bash also guys you can see the shortcut is created on desktop so here you can see git bash has been started also i'm just starting my command prompt and simply i'm typing git over there and I'm not getting any error guys. I'm getting this type of option over here. So that means your gate is working successfully. So that's all guys from my side. I hope this video has really helped you. If yes, don't forget to hit on like button. If you have any query, you can put in comment box or you can send me on my IG also. Guys, if you like this video, share my video with your friends. And also guys, you can follow me on my different social media. All my social media link I have given in description box. And guys, if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications from my channel thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys